Welcome for Erica Sigurdsson. Erica. Hello, Winnipeg. I cannot believe I made out with the wrong hall brother. <laughs> Should have Googled that. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I'm not against sports per se. It's just I have this nagging feeling that while my fiance loves me, he seems to love sports just a little bit more. <laughs> Planning our wedding around uh, the playoffs, that's been a bit annoying. Luckily, he's a Canucks fan, so. <laughs> May wedding looks like a go. <laughs> I'm always amazed at how much sports trivia people can memorize, every fact about every player in the CFL, and I can't help but think, could you bring for med school? <laughs> you like eating at Subway? That's okay. Awesome. I don't think your ability to memorize proves you're a fan. I could do that. I just choose to memorize other stuff, like the speed limit, our postal code, my birthday. <laughs> you know, the stuff you rarely use in life. Not the everyday things like who scored the most goals in the 89-90 season. <laughs> Ever since childhood, it seemed that normal social rules didn't apply in the presence of a sporting event. You shouldn't hit your kids. Definitely should never kick your kids unless they walked in front of the TV during the game. <laughs> Dad didn't even have to get up, just boom, right to the spinal column. Not supposed to really have alcohol around kids, except on hockey night where it's perfectly acceptable for a six-year-old to shuttle beer back and forth to the living room. <laughs> I'm from Vancouver and we have our fair share of sports fans, but they like to go a bit organic. Half the city's in Canucks jerseys, the other half in yoga gear. Die-hard yoga fans mat over their shoulder just in case an impromptu class breaks out at Starbucks. <laughs> but they've committed to a lifetime of inner peace and good for them. I dated my fiancé for seven years before he committed to me. Your team, sure, till death do you part, but your girlfriend? Eh, let's just see how this plays out. And he comes with all his sports nut friends, too. It's like a set of those Russian dolls. You think you're getting one, but really there's seven of the exact same thing. <laughs> and they look like grown men at first glance until you look into their glassy, drunken eyes and you see that 12-year-old boy inside wanting, I want to play! <laughs> when I was a kid, I wanted to be a ballerina. It didn't happen. I let it go. I don't show up at the ballet in a tutu. <laughs> Come in, I'll, I'll do it. Go to my niece's dance recital holding a double double and a player's filter. Play A! Play A! <laughs> it's a pretty picture, I know. But the dream of playing in the NHL never really leaves a Canadian male, and thus they become a fan. And it would seem the bigger the fan, the bigger the fan. <laughs> you know that guy? Uh, always the guy sitting behind me at the game. One minute I'm watching all these rugged young men playing hockey. Most of them look like they were dipped in a bucket of yummy. <laughs> The next minute, this 455-pound dude rips off his T-shirt. He's got Go Team Go written on his beer gut. But he wrote it in a mirror, so it just says, Og, meet Og. <laughs> These are the sports fans, or fanatics, as they call it in the mental health profession. <laughs> typically display behavior that in any other walk of life would be seen as criminal. Like you'd call the cops. Uh, well, first of all, he dresses like me. <laughs> no, just like me. My name's on the back of his shirt. <laughs> yeah, he's got my schedule. He knows how much money I made. Yesterday, he showed up at my work and started screaming at me, telling me how to do my job. <laughs> 
threw a beer can at opposing counsel. <laughs> They'd put you in jail, which you might like because you get to dress like a bunch of other men. <laughs> what is with that? What is with the jerseys? I don't get why you'd want to walk around with another dude's number on your back. <laughs> like when I was in high school, I got to wear my boyfriend's Letterman jacket, but that's because I wanted everybody to know who I was in love with. <laughs> Guys are just out there. Hey, I'm not gay. But if I was, <laughs> Sidney Crosby. Thank you very much, Winnipeg. Good night.